welcome you back to In Focus. Now, 14 years after the defeat of apartheid, a new documentary looks at South Africa's transition from tyranny to democracy. VOA's Carolyn Turner has that story. The film, Courting Justice, was screened at the prestigious Woodrow Wilson Center in Washington. The film offers insights into South Africa's transformation since apartheid. It focuses on the country's fledgling democracy and constitutional promise of human rights and judicial reform by taking viewers behind the scenes to reveal intimate portrayals of the women judges who struggle with the male-dominated judiciary. Creator and executive producer Ruth Cohen explains why she was drawn to South Africa. It's the only revolution of which I'm aware where the purpose was not to replace the people in power, but the purpose was to establish a human rights-based constitutional democracy, the ideas of which were very well defined. The film follows the justices who are entrusted with enormous responsibilities. After 1994, it is the most wonderful experience to participate in the creation of a human rights jurisprudence in South Africa, considering where we come from. The film captures the joy at an ex-political prisoner commemoration. The judges offer candid observations as they meticulously analyze the laws and agonize over court decisions as they work to change the system from the bench. In the past, the judiciary used to function as a machinery enforcing repressive laws. In those courts, severe sentences were handed down. But the difference then and now is we have our constitution. So we as new judges, we operate within the framework of that constitution. And we make that constitution alive. Deputy Judge President Jeanette Traverso says it is a disgrace she is the only woman in a leadership position. Thirteen years into our democracy to have only one woman in a leadership position in the judiciary and not a single black woman in a leadership position in the judiciary is tragic. South Africa's constitution mandates the appointment of women as judges, yet only 18% of South Africa's judgeships have been filled by women, according to Cohen. I uh, was interested in working with them in a way to develop a, a strategy for advancing the number of women who were appointed to the bench. Shamil Biggio of the Secretary of State's Office of Global Women's Issues says the film captures the transformation of society. And women have an important role to play in make, as change agents in making that transformation effective and sustainable. Judge Patricia Goliath says the legal profession used to be a boys club. Women really had to break new ground and new barriers to actually get there. So when you break through that ceiling, I feel a sense of achievement when I think of how far we have come. Once I wear that robe, everything changes. Once you are robed, and they are robed, we are equal in the full sense of the word. And I'm no longer a wife, or a mother, or a woman, but now I'm a judge, and I am 100% equal to my male counterparts. Courting Justice is an inspirational film that examines the transformation of an entire legal system. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.